fuck is that? Oh no! Please die. Yes! Yes! Absolutely no mucking around this episode. Last episode we ended off just before we were ready to try out the helicopter and the very first thing we are going to do is try it out. Worked perfect! Literally worked perfect. Let's fucking, let's go chat, let's go! Alright, let's see how jank the flying is. It's, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. It's also got a built-in compass, so... Looks like the Rust helicopter, yeah. It's also got a built-in compass, so I think you automatically fail the compass achievement if you ever drive this thing, so that sucks. This view is awesome! This is, this is actually sick. I feel like driving over the Megalodon would be doubly terrifying in this thing, because we like see right now. Oh look, we've got little booties! I don't know if I've ever looked at my booties in this game so far. I feel like those shoes would be ripped after like a whole month of surviving the lines. It's, uh... I mean, it's... It's a tiny bit faster than the boat. I feel like it's about the same speed, though. Just got back and there's a fucking helicopter. There's a fucking helicopter, bro. Woo! <laughs> How ridiculous is that? And the gas is going down, like, ridiculously fast. That is... How is it already, like, an eighth down? I don't even know if we're going to make it to one island. I don't even know if we're going to make it to one island that we haven't explored. So it's pretty cool being able to get a bird's eye view of the map, but there is a lot of problems with the helicopter. First and foremost, the gas strains ridiculously fast. Like, if we didn't screw up and base on the edge of the map, and we were in the very center, it might be enough to get to the edge of the map with one gas, but because we based on the edge, we literally can't get anywhere with a full gas tank on this thing because it drains ridiculously fast. Two, the developers put nothing for you to access with the helicopter. There's no special loots on the rocky island. There's no special loots on top of the ship. There's there's no reason to have the additional elevation. I, I thought there was a real let down. Like, like, at least could have added some like nests with eggs and or, or some scrap metal you could pick up or, some, or something. Some reason for me to use this. But unfortunately, there's really, there's really not. So I drove it till we ran out of gas and we did manage to get to a new island. But that was such a waste and it would have taken so long to create a boat and slowly sail all the way back. I decided to reload and instead of putting the gas into the helicopter, let's try putting the gas in the boat motor. But the boat motor turned into a fucking enigma as we originally had the boat motor placed to the right of our rudder and it worked fine. But when upgrading the material of our boat, we had to remove it. So I tried to replace it in the same place. But that didn't want to work, so I tried to place it on the other side, and that didn't work. It doesn't want to attach here either. What? What? It's the boat engine! Hello, game? Oh, come on. I can see it white for a frame, game. Yes! Yes! There we go. There we go. I knew it was white for a frame. I knew it was white for a frame. Okay, this should be much better. This should be much better. We just need to build a rudder on the other side. Which will be kind of jank to sail, but it should work, right? Alright, please, 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 just, just place it down. Just do me a solid game, just do me the solid. Yes! Yes! Okay, okay, quick, quick test sail. To make sure it still works with it in that position. It works just fine! It works just fine! Soft or hard shell tacos? Soft all the way. If you have hard shell tacos, you have to get the hell out. The, yeah, it's like, what do, you, what do you want? Do you want do you want to be bleeding gums, Murphy? Like Jesus. No, I think the turning is worse. I think the turning is actually worse having it on the side. That felt like a worse turn circle. But hey, if it's if the boat motor's worth it, that shouldn't be too much of a uh, that shouldn't be too much of a downside. Oh, I'm actually really excited to try this out. All right, here we go. Let's see how fast it is. This is a joke, right? Oh, there we go. No, there we go. There we go. There we go. I think we were like caught on the rock. You don't accelerate with R2. You accelerate with like forwards. Oh, you can also accelerate with backwards. Okay. Oh my fuck. We're going to be out of gas before we've even gone anywhere. Okay, wow. This is a lot faster. 
that, that, oh my, this is like crazy fast. It's working! It's working! Helicopter, if we can zoom around like this. But, oh my god! Because the gas, like, is determined by how fast you go. So, if you go at 15 miles an hour and it uses the same gas as going 30 miles an hour, why the fuck would you ever pick the 15 miles an hour one? Like, the plane is just worse in every single way. This is, oh my god, yes, this. This is what I'm talking. This was worth four potatoes and 32 water. Just, just. Yeah, seriously, this actually makes the game playable up until now it has kind of been insufferably slow with the sailing and it really drags the game down like you have to have a lot of patience or be like second screening like freaking old school runescape or something to deal with all the sailing in this game because it is horrendous my activity in this game has probably been a third gathering resources a third exploring a third sailing between places doing nothing so this is so nice and the gas actually seems to last longer in the boat than it does in the plane so not only are we going faster but we're also losing less gas which is so good so now we have some movement speed let's use it let's try and track down one of the other bosses either the megalodon or the giant eel wait is that my fucking water collector i made way back at the start of the game what what? It is. So after using all of the gas, I ended up looping all the way back to where we started the game, and we managed to explore 23 out of 25 islands, and still hadn't found either of the bosses. So at this point, we had to work out how the cartographer's desk worked. So this is the map. This is the map. Let's have a look at all the great reference points we have here, chat. We have... Some islands and some skulls. That's that's it. That's it. The kraken could either be here, here, or here. Definitely not there though, because we it had islands on all four sides, so we know the kraken's one of these three. And like I said, look, there's a red island, the Great Lush Island. Why is that red? Why is that red? And th there's four skulls. On top of that island, there's actually five! There's actually five total! What does this all mean? What does this all mean? So, because I'm dyslexic, I only looked at the pictures and literally didn't even cross my mind to read the names. But someone in my chat was like, hey, wasn't Lucica the Great that cracker you killed? Yes, it was. And with that, thank God, we finally understand how the cartographer's desk works. So I thought every red icon meant something bad because red does mean bad for three of them, right? But no, one of the red skull and crossbones is actually the ship. Devs, draw a fucking another picture for the ship. Come on! And the red island is the island that we're basing on. I don't know how they know that. I, I don't know how they know which island we're based on, but they have drawn that in red. Uh, if we've actually based on a special island, cool, but I'm not sure what the special resource is. Like, is it because we have a naturally spawning potato? I mean, I, I guess that's cool. So with this, we can work out where the Megalodon is. It, it was exactly here, right? I'm, I'm going the right way. I'm not losing my fucking mind here. Oh, I think I just loaded back in. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, that's it. That's it, chat. Oh, no. That's a big whale, too. Holy fuck. Wait, is that unrelated? That does, that, I don't actually think that's a whale. Oh, is that the battleship? Is it? Megalodon. Oh, no. Yep, that's it. That's it. Ah, oh, there's a there's a whale in the net. I see. I see. There it is. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Game on. Right, show me what you got, buddy. Show me what you got. Wish moving. Wish moving. Ha! Why did that just switch my other weapon? I can't see shit. I can't see shit, man. Where's the little red dot that like shows me where it is? Ah!
I'm gonna have a heart attack here. Let's do it. You can't jump out of me like that. Oh my god. I was two days from retirement. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh my god, that's terrifying. That's terrifying. What's gonna happen if it hits us? Oh god. Okay, there it is. It's a oh shit, it's a lot harder to see. How much damage is that doing? Okay, it's only one heart, it's not too bad. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, if I'm honest. It didn't come out from the other side, oh god. Still scarier than the squid, I feel. I literally haven't even got a shot on it yet. It being smaller is actually, like, makes this a lot harder. Ah! <laughs> Fucking hell. How are we ever gonna beat this thing? It's so quick! Oh! Much smaller- ah! Much smaller health pool though. Much smaller health pool. Oh my god, we're getting wrecked by this thing. Oh, fuck, I didn't save either because I thought we weren't gonna have enough ammo. It's, it's so much weaker than I thought it would be. Let's go for the multi hits. Oh, I'm too slow. Ah! As long as we can follow it with our eyes, we can dodge it. But it, it, you lose line of sight when it lands. This is a great upside to having a big ship. We, we have more, like, space to dodge. Fuck, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh god, did I go too far from the boss arena? You're kidding me, right? If it's fucking health is regenerated, I'm gonna be pissed. Fucking amateur hour over here, right? Yeah, he's respawned. He's back there. All right, buddy, I'm back. It's time for round two. I'm remembering the anchor this time. Bring it on. I think. It oh! That was like a 2010 fucking YouTube video horror jump scare right there. It's literally facing the other way and just immediately POO! Oh man, that's too funny. That's too funny. I think I've bungled it now. I think I've used too many spears, but I'll try it. Ah, fucking. He's going quick now. How much health do we have left? Why am I on the wrong thing? Oh, am I bleeding? No, I'm healthy. Okay, that's good. That's a good stat to have. Where is he? I've lost sight of him. Is that him over there? Look at him, looks the same. Ah, shit! It's so hard to dodge him, even on this massive boat! Where's my fucking red dot game? Okay, there he is, serious, serious. Ah! Getting wrecked, getting wrecked, man. Like, every time he's getting me. Yet he just clips through it. It's so unfair. It's so unfair. Oh, yeah, I'm onto you now, buddy. I'm onto you now. I get that spear back, too. I said and immediately lost him. Nine spears left. I do not think that's going to be enough. Oh, it's quite a lot of damage, though. Oh. Oh. We know we we know where he is now. We know where he is. We might actually be able to get him. So we may have died, but we learned a lot. This boss is very hard to see, and tracking it is super important. It has a jump attack that, if the boat is long ways, we almost can't dodge. But if the boat is short ways, is quite an easy dodge. So we always want to try and have the attacking us on a short ways angle additionally i tried to introduce the strategy where if it jumped at us long ways we jumped off the boat to avoid it but i i'll be honest i really struggled to pull that off oh my god that's just ah 
Ah, oh, it's got such a massive hitbox. And where is my red dot right now? It's so hard to see. Hey, it's fucking almost invisible. And it like quickly swims every time it gets hit, so you lose it. Oh, this is... Re I, I do not have the reaction times for this, chat. I, I fucking do not have the reaction times for this. Oh, we actually dodged one. Okay, I wasn't even looking at him. Maybe looking at him is overrated. Maybe you just dodge based on sound. Use your ears. Use your ears. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I have ears. Where is he? Ah, come on! What is that fucking jump? Yes, water tech, water tech, nice, it worked. Same shade as the water ass fucking boss. Here he is. He's gone. He's fucking gone. Ah. Ah. I need to be quicker. I need to be quicker. swimming so far away No! Come on! No, he got me with his tail! Fuck! The whole body's like a collision zone, not just the head. Oh, when it goes under the ship, it fucking just vanishes. It's actually easier when you've hit him a few more times because you can see your own spears. I'm gonna jump this. Oh no, that did not help. I'm out of spears! Oh fuck! Dare we look at our own health bar, chat? Let's do it. Oh, still two health and a dream. Still two health and a dream. Oh, look, the uh, the glitch flag is back, chat. See, and it's gone.
And victorious, we sit sail home with loot aplenty. But uh, I was quite tired after this, and I went on to make a series of bungles that left me very tilted. So we actually had extra gas up until this point. We still had about a quart left. Our gas did us, like, seriously proud. The gas consumption on the boat is, like, probably half the helicopter. But I forgot I left all my loot on an island and saved... Oh my god. Oh my god, chat. 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 I just fucking drove all the way back. And I left all my loot on the nearby island. No! So not only did I have to drive all the way back to the island where I left my loot, but I also wasted the last quart of gas and had to do a 20 minute sail back to the base. I then decided to up the size of the potato farm to try and get it up to four, so we could do four at once instead of one at a time in the fuel, but then... Pick the potatoes? I didn't pick the potatoes, chat. You see those potatoes that I have selected? Yeah, I didn't pick those. I just destroyed the potato plant. <sighs> yep. Despite the fact that the potatoes were white and highlighted, we weren't actually selecting them. We were selecting the plant that wasn't white or highlighted. We had to go on the other side to pick the potatoes. Well, now we know all we wasted was 32 water and the potatoes and like three days of time. Fuck. Now, normally I just reloaded a mistake like this, but we hadn't saved since we bit the Megalodon, so I didn't have much choice. But I shouldn't complain. We did still manage to bring down a Megalodon. Whoa! Freaking proud of that. And we got the second piece of the seaplane getting us one step closer to escaping. Now, all we need to fix it is the last piece that is dropped by the giant eel, which we are going to be killing next episode. Be sure to tune in for that.